<laughs> Hello, everybody. This is Brother Luke, Sin City Preacher. Well, I have taken a, uh, a position uh, on eternal torment in hell um, several years ago. Uh, it's no uh, secret. I've made up not only numerous videos on the subject, but um, a playlist that goes into a great deal uh, examining the question, what is the state of the dead, the eternal state? Um, well, we know the state of the, the, the saved, the believers, is uh, e eternity with Jesus and the saints on the new heavens and the new earth. Uh, but for those people who never put their faith in Jesus, um, is Jesus going to torture people forever and ever? <laughs> the Jesus that I know in the Bible would never burn someone with a blowtorch for two seconds, much less torture them forever and ever and ever. Um, but the, the, the problem that I'm seeing is uh, those of you who are surprised or uh, you're, you're um, what's the word? Uh, it's out, you think it's outlandish that I or anybody else would, would be against the teaching of eternal torment of the lost and believe that God just basically just destroys the lost. The, the idea that uh, you're, you're shocked by that and that um, it, it tells me, that it reinforces my unfortunate opinion that um, most Christians are really like the stereotype. I made a video um, titled, Why Most Christians Make Me Sick. Now, of course, that, that didn't win me a lot of friends either. But the point is, from my experience, being a Christian since December of 1986, that the charge that Christians are narrow-minded, bigoted, prejudiced, hateful, uh, hypocritical. Uh, th these charges that Christians have been stereotyped to have these qualities. Unfortunately, those qualities are actually very true descriptions of many professing Christians. Now, are they really Christians? I don't know. But I, I do know, that unfortunately, that many Christians I'd have to deal with are just Sad to say, they're ignorant and they're, they're fools. Uh, but in this particular case, the people who are sending me comments and asking me questions, oh, Brother Luke, uh, I heard that you don't believe in eternal torment in hell. Well, the problem is the people who uh, are uh, raising this as an issue, they're arguing from ignorance. That's true. I would venture that 98 or 90 percent, 99 percent of all the people who protest against uh, our belief that that uh, um, people are not e suffering eternal torment in hell, but instead they're destroyed and they're annihilated. They don't they perish. Uh, if you're arguing against that, Almost all of you are arguing from ignorance because you've never taken the time to study the Bible on that particular subject and find out if the teaching of eternal torment is true or not. So it's really, it's really uh, disappointing to me when I find out that these, these horrible stereotypical descriptions of Christians that, that none of us like but it turns out that it's so often true 
But in this case, it's all based upon ignorance because you have not taken the time to study the subject. You've just accepted what you were told and based upon a couple of verses, but you don't realize that there's 50 or 100 verses that say exactly the opposite. And you don't understand that. You don't know because you haven't been willing. Are you too lazy? Is it a character flaw? Or are you just being stubborn? You're just too busy? You don't have the time? But if you will watch my playlist, What is the State of the Dead? And or go to the you know, YouTube channel or website, um, uh, Rethinking Hell. You'll, you'll find out that there are many convincing proofs against eternal torment and supporting the fact that God destroys the lost. He doesn't torture them forever. Uh, so I, I guess my conclusion is if you have not watched my playlist and studied to learn my point of view, and it's not just mine, this is a very, very common point of view. Many, many people have turned away from this lie that Jesus would torture people forever and ever and ever. Many people have turned away from that. And once they studied it, they found out the truth is, no, it's the death sentence, the second death. People die the second death and they perish. Our God, the God of the Bible, is not a cruel, sadistic uh, God that wants to torture people forever and ever. That, if anybody wants to be outraged because I don't believe that God is going to torture people forever, well, I'm outraged that you think our God, the God of mercy, love, and justice, would be a cosmic sadist torturing God. That appalls me. So if you're promoting eternal torment for the lost, then I'm appalled by you. You, you should be ashamed of yourself to promote the idea that Jesus would do that. And I don't want to hear anything from anybody about this unless you have watched the entire playlist, and then at least you'll understand why we don't believe that, why we believe, we believe the Bible teaches the contrary, that God will not torture the lost forever. He will annihilate them, destroy them. They will perish, just as it says in John 3.16. So uh, many people have already been enlightened. They study this out. And when you take the time to study it out, you will switch to my side of this debate. Uh, if you're intellectually honest. So thank you for watching. Bless you all in the name of our great Savior God. Our great God of love, mercy, and justice, Jesus Christ.